I'm Kathy Baldock, the Executive Director of Canyon Walker Connections, a Christian ministry that works at the intersection of faith and academics to help repair the damage that's done by the conservative Christian community to the LGBTQ community. I'm also a researcher, a writer, and an author. And aside from buying hundreds of items on Amazon and reviewing everything from dog food to barbecues to personal flotation devices that I've bought on Amazon, I've also done extensive book reviews on this stack of books, plus 10 more that I read digitally. These are books written by Christian authors that are damaging to the LGBTQ community. Uh, because I'm working on another book uh, that will be coming out next fall, I haven't had time to do lots of book reviews recently. So the last set of books I reviewed actually was this set, and I reviewed them in May. So imagine my surprise when on Christmas morning, I woke up and I had an email from Amazon from the community guidelines people telling me that I had violated their terms of service for the community guidelines and with no explanation, just a link to the community guidelines. And they also included an email address where I could go ask them why they had made this decision. And after multiple attempts over the last month to ask them to clarify why they had taken away my right to review books and taken all of my reviews down, I haven't heard. So this is the next step. I don't know what else to do, so here I am. Um, could I have violated the Amazon community guidelines? I don't know. I don't know, I've gone through the guidelines, I don't know what I've done. Reviewers have to spend at least $50 a year on Amazon to have that right to review. Well, <laughs> not a problem for me because I research and I'm writing a new book. In the last three years, I've spent over $8,200 on books from Amazon. And that's aside from the books I've gotten from the library and internet archives. I read a lot and I review books. The guidelines say that the reviews must be helpful and relevant and based on honest opinions and experience. And the content of the reviews must be related to the topic and be respectful. I have no problem there. All of my reviews follow those guidelines and fall within the context of those guidelines. I have a solid reputation on all those counts. So I don't know what I could have done suddenly after seven months past of reviewing a set of books to all of a sudden have all of my reviews taken down and to lose the ability to do any more reviews. So this is the next step, a visible plea to Amazon to reinstate my reviews and to ask people to help me in that cause. Um, if you've benefited from my work, I'm going to ask you to help me too. But efforts to silence my reviews, unfortunately, it's not a new experience for me. In November of 2019, <clears throat> an author, an author of a book and the publisher of the book had my review that had been up just for a few hours review, re removed from Amazon. And with the help of an intermediary who reached into Amazon at the higher levels to try to get my reviews reinstated, that review reinstated, and to find out why they had done this, we found out that there had been an ongoing um, effort by Christian authors and publishers to silence my reviews, complaining that I was hateful to Christians, that I was a keyboard jockey, that I have not gone to seminary. These things apparently exclude me from reviewing books or even flotation devices. Um, the authors of these books may not value my opinion, but thousands of people do. Actually, when my reviews were taken down, they had over 50,000 engagements. I get a number of, a significant number of contacts from people 
telling me how helpful my reviews are. And a lot of those contacts come from parents. And actually, last May, when I was reviewing this set of books, this little trilogy of anti-gay, anti-trans books, um, a friend of mine committed suicide. And it was very clear in the suicide note that he had left that he was exhausted. He was exhausted in dealing with his family that wouldn't accept his orientation, his sexual orientation, and dismissed and didn't accept that he was a gay Christian after 40 years. He came out 40 years ago, and they still didn't accept that he was a gay man and a Christian. And he was a beautiful, wonderful church leader, uh, a dear friend, and it was very apparent in his suicide notes that he was just exhausted. And these books, these books, a lot of them, the market is geared towards parents now. And this is what they're reading. And his parents just couldn't get there. These books are filled with anti-gay theology, really sloppy theology. So when I do a review, I bring all of my talents to those reviews. I have a really good grasp on historical, biblical, medical, cultural context of sexual orientation and the understanding of it since the, the New Testament was written and the many mistranslations. That's what the next book is about. Um, and I bring all of that talent to review these books to say what's wrong with them. Amazon. You sell these books. You sell these books that are damaging to LGBTQ people, to their faith journeys, to their families. And if you're going to sell them, be responsible and let people like me review these books. Um, yes, the reviews of these books are also hosted on my website, canyonwalkerconnections.com. But that's not where people go to, to get information about products. I go to the sell page on Amazon. Everyone I know reads reviews and goes to the sell page. That's the first place you go to. So Amazon, please be responsible. Sell, if you're selling these books, allow my reviews to stand and please reinstate them. Uh, you're participating in religious based censorship. I am a Christian. It's essential to note that not all Christians hold a monolithic anti-gay view in their Christianity. So help me. People that are watching this, help me. I write under, I wrote under on Amazon, Kathy Baldock slash Canyon Walker. I want my reviews reinstated. To those that have benefited from my work, I'm asking for your help. Um, let Amazon know that you want my reviews reinstated. You don't want my work censored. Express your concerns to ecr-replies at amazon.com or go right to the top, jeff at amazon.com. Share this video, tag Amazon on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Just get the information out there. Please help me to get my work reinstated on Amazon. Amazon, don't participate in anti-LGBTQ bias by silencing my reviews. It's bad for people and it's bad for business.